if you got yourself a Google Pixel 9a, there are some cool AI features which you can use which you know you probably didn't know about and let me show you how we can access them like Pixel Studio or some uh, kind of Gemini tips and tricks. So let's get into those. So the first thing, obviously using your Google um, Assistant and instead of Google Assistant, now a Gemini because Gemini is pretty cool and I very much like it because it's just so easy to use. So for example, you can, um, when you press that button and hold it, that top button on the right side, you will turn on the Gemini. And now we can ask the question, for example, like how to make an English breakfast? Breakfast involves frying or grilling bacon, sausages, eggs, tomatoes and mushrooms. Serve with fried bread or toast and a side of baked beans. How many grams are in the tablespoon? The number of grams in a tablespoon varies depending on the ingredient. A tablespoon is a measure of volume, while a gram is a measure of mass. What's the meaning of life? is a deeply personal and philosophical question. Some believe it's about seeking happiness. So as you can see, you can um, you know, ask AI for your kind of daily things and at the same time connect it to kind of your patterns and how you are actually using that AI. And I think this is one of the features that, you know, it's just so cool because you can also grab, a, you know, a photo of something and you can ask, what is that, right? So for example, I can just grab, um, boom, camera, attach, and ask Gemini, what is that plant? Based on the appearance of the plant in the image, it looks like a type of succulent, possibly a Hawarthia or a small aloe plant. So, like, this is just an easy thing to just use and then just here by that button. So when it comes to those AIs, another feature is actually this Pixel Studio. So within the Pixel, like within the option, you have Pixel Studio built in. That's an app that's actually just pre-installed. And I'm gonna tell you one thing. If you opened it and you logged in with your Google, and sometimes it might actually tell you that you need to be 18 to actually use this app, even when you're 18. And I saw that sometimes just creating a second Google account to use it just helps. So now, um, if I want to, for example, edit the photo, I'm just gonna quickly add the photo. And I'm gonna choose, for example, this, you know, this plant with this. So now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna actually choose that I don't want the drink here. Boom. And after I kind of select it, as you can see, it, it's on the select mode, and I can, for example, press erase. And now what the AI is gonna do, it's gonna erase the elements from that photo that you actually kind of, you're working with. Boom, and it disappeared. And it did a pretty decent job, like nothing is actually visible on that photo. So that is a cool thing. So as easy as that, you can just remove someone or remove something, some objects from the photo that, that you actually you know, liked. Like and subscribe if you're enjoying what you're actually seeing on my channel. Mad tech talk, tech so fly. Breaking down gear, let's amplify. Sub like, don't miss a thing. Tech reviews with a little bling. We out for now, but stay tuned. More fire tech is dropping soon.